Maxillary First Molar The maxillary first molar is normally the largest tooth in the maxillary arch. It has four well-developed functioning cusps and one supplemental cusp of little practical use. The four large cusps of the most physiological significance are mesobuccal, mesolingual, distobuccal, and distolingual. The supplemental cusp is called the cusp of cerebri or tubercle of cerebri. This supplemental cusp is found lingual to the mesolingual cusp, which is the largest of the well developed cusp. It helps to identify the maxillary first molar. The three roots are the mesobuccal, distobuccal, and lingual. These roots are well separated and well developed and their placement gives this tooth maximum anchorage against forces that would tend to unseat it. The lingual root is the longest root. It is tapered and smoothly rounded. The mesobuccal root is not as long as the lingual root. It is broader buccolingually and shaped so that its resistance to torsion is greater than that of the lingual root. The distobuccal root is the smallest of the three and smoothly rounded. The first evidence of calcification is seen at birth. Enamel is completed by three to four years. It erupts into the oral cavity at the age of six and root is completed by nine to ten years. The cervical occlusal length of the crown is 7.5 mm. The length of the root, buccal root is 12 mm. Lingual root is 13 mm. Mesodistal diameter of the crown is 10 mm. And at cervix it is 8 mm. Buccolingual diameter of the crown is 11 and at cervix it is 10. Curvature of cervical line measly is 1 mm and almost zero distally. Buccal expect. The crown is roughly trapezoidal with the cervical and occlusal outline representing the uneven side. The cervical line is the shorter of the uneven side. When the buccal aspect of this tooth is viewed with the line of vision at the right angle to the buccal developmental groove of the crown, the distal side of the crown can be seen in perspective, which is possible because of the obtuse character of the distobuccal line angle. Part of the four cusps are seen, mesobuccal, distobuccal, mesolingual and distolingual. The mesobuccal cusp is broader than the distobuccal cusp and its mesial slope meets the distal slope at an obtuse angle. The mesial slope of distobuccal cusp meets its distal slope at approximately right angle. The distobuccal cusp is therefore sharper than the mesobuccal cusp and it is at least as long and often longer. The buccal developmental group that divides the tooth buccal cusp into two parts is approximately equidistant between the mesobuccal and the distobuccal line angle. The group slants occlusio apically in a line of direction parallel to the long axis of the distobuccal root. It terminates at a point approximately half the distance from its origin occlusally to the cervical line of the crown. Although the groove is not deep at any point, it becomes more shallow towards its termination, gradually fading out. Lateral to its terminus is a dip in the enamel of the crown that is developmental in character and extends from some distance measly and distally. The cervical line of the crown does not have much curvature from mesial to distal. However, it is not as smooth and regular as that found on some of the other teeth. 
the line is generally convex with the convexity 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 towards the root the mesial outline follows a nearly straight path downward and mesially curving occlusally as it reaches the crest of contour continues downward and distally and begin becomes congruent with the outline of the mesial slope of the mesobuccal cusp the crest of contour is the contact area of the mesial side the crest is approximately 2/3 the distance from the cervical line to the tip of the mesobuccal cusp the distal outline of the crown is convex the distal surface is spheroidal the crest of curvature of the distal side of the crown is located at a level approximately half the distance from the cervical line to the tip of the cusp the distal contact area is in the middle of the middle third often from this aspect a flattened area or a concave area is seen on the distal surface immediately above the distal buccal cusp at the cervical third of the crown all three of the root may be seen from buccal aspect the mesobuccal root curves distally starting at the middle third its axis usually is at the right angle to the cervical line the distal root is straighter with its long axis at an acute angle distally with the cervical line it has tendency to curve mesially at its middle third the point of bifurcation of the two buccal root is located approximately 4 mm above the cervical line a deep developmental groove buccally on the root trunk of the maxillary first molar which starts at the bifurcation and progresses downward become more shallow until it terminates in a shallow depression at the cervical line the molar root originates as a single root on the base of the crown the common root base is called the root trunk the root trunk and the root function as an entity the greatest mesodistal diameter of the root is lesser than the greatest mesodistal diameter of the crown that ends the buccal aspect and introduction of maxillary first molar thank you for watching please do subscribe and like the video thank you